When the children first come in, one of the first things we do is we bring them over here and we talk about the canoe. The canoe Shane Cunningham is like a proud papa showing off a new child as he races through the CBE's Circle of Nations Museum. Cunningham's title is the Diversity and Learning Support Advisor for the Public Board's Aboriginal Education Team. In essence, he's the new museum's storyteller. When you talk to Sammy, uh, Sammy lets you know why, why he's called, his last name is Walmart. In our traditional culture, when uh, our, the Plains tribes would go shopping, they wouldn't go to a store. They would go to the buffalo herds because the buffalo provided us everything we needed. Buffalo hides for our teepees, which were our homes. We were shopping for clothing. We would be shopping for tools, which the buffalo provided us with. If we needed glue, we would get that from the buffalo hooves. The horns would give us cups and everything, the tongue. We would utilize the whole buffalo. So, you know, we would be in our teepees and we would be surviving due to everything that the buffalo provided for us. So that's why we call him Sammy Walmart. Over the years, the Calgary Board has gathered over 150 museum-caliber Aboriginal artifacts, which are now displayed in a hands-on classroom experience at the Kingsland Centre. Part of the Aboriginal learning model is learning through a hands-on process, so we want to share that with the students and the staff that we work with to teach them our ways of learning too. Very Making sure that kids that are touching have, things, being able to see them firsthand. We see a lot of these things behind the cases and hanging on the wall is usually up high, like our, our, buffalo, our buffalo head there. The kids can get, actually get to touch it. And in a museum, often they don't get to do those things. And one of those is the moss bag. And that was how we used Mother Earth, and that was one of the gifts that Mother Earth gave to us. And that meant that we didn't have to worry about diapers. Cunningham combines the information from the static displays with either a craft project or a physical activity to enhance the educational experience. They know their grandparents and they can relate this to their grandparents. And they love it when you, when you, when you sit there and you talk about the importance of their grandparents. Those stories that are passed on from generation to generation are the basis of who we are. My grandfather always used to say, Shane, before you know where you're going, always know where you come from. And I think that's so important today as it was a hundred years ago. All of these pieces come from the Plains Indian Cultural Survival School. So these are CBE um, pieces of, of artifacts and artwork that are, are ours. They're part of our story. So it's important that we keep that story in our, in our system to share with our students and staff. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.